Hello, my name is Asad Yaqub and I'm your IELTS examiner. Uh, are you a student or a professional? I'm a student and uh, I'm studying at the moment. Let's talk about your studies. Are you a full-time student at the moment? Uh, yes, I'm a full-time student and I'm going to the university. I'm a university student and uh, I go there regularly. Where do you study? I'm studying at a university here in Lahore and that is called University of Information Technology and Management Sciences and there I'm doing Masters in Business Administration and that's one of the popular universities here. How long have you studied there? Uh, I've been studying there for three years actually uh, my complete program is of four years so I first did some uh, courses and now I'm doing that uh, master program so it's it's of four years so I've completed my three years and one year is left is it far from your home no it's not very far from my house it's only 10 kilometers and I've got my own conveyance so I can easily go there and uh, the timing when I go to my university the roads are also fine I mean there is no issue and when I come back uh, again there is no problem so it's just 10 kilometers from my house it's not quite far what job would you like to have in the future in the future I would love to start my own business because I don't want to do any job I'm doing masters in business administration so after doing business administration I would prefer to start my own business and then I would uh, apply all the knowledge I am getting right now so I would love to apply all the knowledge and I'm really keen on starting my own business I'm dying to start my own business right now but my parents are not allowing me now because they're asking me that I have to finish my studies first and then I would go on with business and if the candidate is a professional then these questions will be asked what is your job uh, I'm working in a bank and I am a cashier so at the moment I'm working as a cashier in a bank it's a local bank here how long have you been working there I've been working in that bank for around eight years uh, after my qualifications after my education I started my career that was my first job actually before the job I did internship in that bank and then I was appointed in the same bank I was quite lucky and uh, since then I've been doing my job there what do you enjoy about your job I enjoy everything about my job the first thing is environment of the bank we've got very good environment in the bank it's quite cordial environment and then I also like my colleagues my colleagues are quite friendly and all the day we have a little chit chat especially during the lunch break we've got a nice chit chat so I like my colleagues and I like the environment of the bank and it's a white collar job so I love doing this job what job did you want to do when you were a child when I was a child at that time I wanted uh, to become uh, a, a hero in a movie that was my dream and uh, I struggled for that as well at that time I wanted to be a child hero and I thought when I would grow up I would become a hero in a movie and all that but as the time passed uh, my interest changed and my mind changed so then I started doing this bank job and I'm happy with that so as a child I wanted to be a film star do you think you will do a different job one day yes I think because you know uh, although I like my job I like the environment I like my colleagues but somewhere somehow I'm not quite happy with this job and I think in the future I would do something different as I am a musician as well I'm a good singer as well so I'm working on some of my albums so if any of my songs it becomes super hit song then I would quit this job and I would pursue my career as a vocalist as a singer and I would be a musician in the future now let's talk about food and restaurants do you often eat out in restaurants cafes and so on uh, yes I do but not quite often I mean uh maybe twice a month or sometimes three times a month I go to the restaurants uh, sometimes I go there with my friends and we enjoy restaurant food and I also go to cafe uh, we've got a nice cafe here Gloria Jeans and I often go there probably once a week and I enjoy coffee with my friends and we talk together and we have fun so yes I do go to restaurants and I do go to the cafes how do you choose where to go when you want to eat out uh, it depends on my mood it depends on what I ate 
in the last three four days it, it all depends on that now for example if I want to eat rice we've got a very nice place here that is what we call savor food so I go there and I eat rice but on the other hand if I want to eat any sort of uh, meat then I see because they, there is a restaurant that's called barbecue tonight so they've got very nice barbecue so if I want to eat barbecue so it depends on my mood it depends on the time of the day it depends on the weather if it is cold then I love to eat fish so it's it's exactly like that are fast food restaurants such as burger bars popular in your country yes the fast food restaurants are very popular in my country we've got the big chains like McDonald's KFC but along with that there are many local fast food restaurants and everywhere you will find these restaurants and apart from this there are the roadside uh, uh, food stalls the fast food stalls are there and they are I mean in great number everywhere in every locality you will find the fast food restaurants you will find the fast food stalls and I think fast food has become very popular and it's quite popular now in my country and there are so many restaurants and so many places where you can buy fast food do you ever cook for yourself or other people well I would not cook for my Myself, but actually I don't cook I don't need to cook because uh, in my house my mom she cooks uh, she's got all the responsibility yes when my mom is away even then she makes something and she puts it in the refrigerator for me so I don't need to cook and I don't cook but if I'm hungry and there is nothing to eat then I prefer going to the restaurant because I don't know how to cook and it's it's a laborious job as well so I, I don't prefer cooking myself can you recommend a restaurant in your hometown yes why not in my hometown there is a wonderful restaurant that is called Bundu Khan and it's basically a continental restaurant but you can also order Chinese food there as well it's a very nice restaurant the interior is very good environment is very good and above all the food is absolutely yummy it's absolutely uh, tasty once you go there you enjoy the pure Pakistani food there the pure continental food as well and I'm loving it I love this restaurant too much okay now we move on to part two of your IELTS speaking uh, here is the cue card and here is pen and paper if you want to jot down some notes you can do that and you have one minute time for preparation after one minute you will have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes your time starts now okay you now have to speak on the topic for one to two minutes uh, well a film that I really enjoyed watching that is Matilda Matilda is a nice movie it's for kids and even adults can watch it so it's a mixture of comedy action and we've got uh, some scenes like the fairy tale movies they've got the scenes so this is what it is in the movie uh, the name of the movie is Matilda and it was made in USA because it's an American movie so all the movie was filmed in USA in that movie they showed an American school then they showed a car garage then they showed a family that was an American family so all the things were related to America and it, it, it was filmed in America well it was a fantastic movie I would say it was basically a movie appropriate for kids because there are many kids in that movie there is a school as well but at the same time I would call it a comedy movie as well because there are many hilarious scenes in that movie and there are some 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 uh, scenes about the fairy tale because there is a girl who possesses some some strange powers so I would say it was just like that uh, uh, I mean there were some scenes like that as well well actually what happened in the film uh, there was a girl she belonged to a family and her family didn't like her very much and then uh, they didn't even send her to school and then she requested her family again and again they sent her to school and there she met the teacher and then there was a school principal who was very strict and the girl this girl realized that she had some uh, supernatural powers and then she used those supernatural powers against the cruel principal and she taught her a lesson so this is what it was all about well I enjoyed this movie very much because I watched it with my friends actually one of my friends suggested this movie and then I was not willing to watch it first because I thought it would be appropriate for kids only but when I watched this movie I realized it was amazing it was worth watching and uh, since that time I've seen this movie around 10 times because I like it very much and I enjoy this movie a lot we now move on to I'll speaking part 3 
Is going to the cinema more or less important than it used to be? Well, I think going to the cinema is more popular than it used to be because in my country in the past cinemas were not good. There were many cinemas but the condition of the cinema that was not good and according to our culture I mean it was considered that people who go to the cinema it was it was you know the belief of the people the people who go to the cinema they're not the good people so that is what people used to think about cinema but now cinemas are modern cinemas are beautiful the interior of cinemas that is very good and they are showing some good movies as well even now families are going to the cinemas as well and people have come back to the cinemas to watch western movies to watch Indian movies and to watch Pakistani movies as well so I think now people go to the cinema more than they used to go in the past and going to the cinema is more popular than it used to be in the past what are the most popular types of film among people you know the most popular type of films among the people I know that I think that is uh, action movies especially Western movies because people like uh, Hollywood movies and Hollywood action movies are very very popular in my country and then the second category some people also like uh, Pakistani movies because now Pakistan is making good movies as well and these movies are shown in the cinema and there's a large number of people who like to watch Indian movies because some of the Indian movies are very good there are some comedy movies as well they prefer to watch those comedy movies as well so the people I know they prefer watching action movies then they prefer watching comedy movies Indian movies and Pakistani movies do you think there's too much violence in films uh, I would say in action movies there is too much violence but that is the requirement of the movie if you watch any American movie if you watch any American action movie so there is too much violence you'll see they are killing people people are dying they use bombs they use guns pistols and all that stuff but but that that is the part of the film so I think violence is too much in the movies but if you're going to watch action movie action movie is incomplete without violence so there is violence but we know it's just a movie and movies are not real and people have realized it now they use certain techniques to make the movies and it's not real so there is the violence but it's okay should there be more films made for children I think there should be more films for children and I think there should be some educational movies for children there should be some ethical movies for the children and there should be some movies where children are learning something because nowadays children are exposed to media quite a lot children are using the gadgets quite a lot so if we make some good movies and the movies are really interesting but there is a deep message inside the movie there is deep down learning inside the movie then children will learn and they will enjoy as well so I think uh, there should be more movies uh, not only English movies but also there should be movies in the local language as well so that children of all uh, children of uh, different backgrounds they should be able to watch these type of movies and they should learn from the movies do films influence influence other things fashion for example yes films influence everything I would say in my country whenever there is a new movie whatever the clothes heroine is wearing the girls they go after that they are crazy for that and whatever clothes the hero is wearing whatever the new trends the hairstyle of the hero I mean they especially go to the barber and ask the barber I need the hairstyle of that very movie and all that stuff so I think movies influence a lot in terms of fashion in terms of uh, dressing of the people in terms of hairstyle style of the people so whatever people watch in the movies they try to adopt that and different styles like uh, the dressing style among the girls they they've been taken from the movies and they know I mean in the market also the clothes are available after the names of the movies so I think movies influence a lot at in terms of fashion in terms of style and all that do you think the media invade the privacy of film stars or put them under too much pressure yes I think because you know media wants to know the secrets of the film stars they want to know the hidden facts about the film stars and they want to know about their private life and they think by exposing that that channel can become very popular a lot of people will watch it so for that they they put hidden cameras right they use different sources sometimes uh, they, they listen to their calls sometimes they see what they are doing and they interfere their private life quite a lot and by doing it they get some information and then most of the time they are only having the scandals of the film stars and this thing uh, puts the film stars under a lot of pressure and the film stars are 
pressurized by this and sometimes they are blackmailed by the media channels as well so i would say yes media channels they are putting a lot of pressure on the film stars and they are invading their privacy as well do you think films will continue to be an important form of entertainment yes i think films will continue to be an important form of entertainment because what else do we have i mean we've got just few options and we need films films all the time in the future also people will prefer to watch movies people will go to the cinemas and i think now they are using the latest technology in the movies and people quite like these type of movies and some movies are like imaginary movies but they they show it in a real way after the 3d cinemas and after the imax technology people would love to go to the cinema and they would enjoy watching movies in the future as well that is the end of ielts speaking test thank you very much may you have a fantastic day thank you very much you too have a lovely day